Some people like to play online. It's fun. But we have cheaters. But the true gamer love a good single player game. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Squad Ranger. Today I'm gonna show you top 10 upcoming single player games. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, this list is based on my personal opinion. If you know other good upcoming single player, just tell me that in the comment. And before we start, can you please hit the subscribe button and and Let's get it. <laughs> Easy. Let's get fancy. Happy birthday. Play a little game. Your turn. Get a load of this! Now, the Daughters of Lyrian are our own homage to Shakespeare and his play King Lear, but the play King Lear is actually based on a historic figure from quite a long time before our game is set, but we thought it would be fun to put a little uh, quasi-historical stuff into this game. So Cordelia, Regan, and Goneril are the Daughters of Lyrian, and they are sort of protecting their father's legacy, a man who was betrayed by the people of East Anglia. And you'll find evidence of this story scattered throughout East Anglia um, and a little bit beyond. You'll meet the three daughters, all of whom have, a, let's say, a chip on their shoulder. But you'll also, if you dig deeper into the territories, you'll find a lot more to this story. So people with a sharp eye and a desire to explore will actually be able to finish this storyline. And lastly, with the lost Drengir of Ragnar Lothbrok. Ragnar Lothbrok was a very famous Viking who came over to England about 10 years before our game is set. And he did quite a bit of damage and uh, he made a lot of enemies. And there were two kings in the north, or two men in the north who wanted to be king, who put their differences aside and banded together to try to... They're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. One day you're busting your back doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. <laughs> Go get him, Tommy! Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. You want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? Don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. Now you stay straight with me, 
You're going to be living the high life, Tom. But the animated cartoons that inspired those original games, all while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. Throughout Crash 4, you'll see wide open new vistas, new character models, and lots of expressive animations. And with all of that also comes new additions to the platforming, like having the ability to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome skins that you can earn and wear throughout the game. These skins are totally cosmetic and a fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash 4 also introduces the Quantum Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at the press of a button. Get to work and let's never talk about this again. Like everyone in DedSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction worker, he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. He can even call his own cargo drone. Perfect for gate crashing, when you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? Come here, you soidoid shit horn. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. Amy is a drone expert. What have we here? A real tech connoisseur. Hate spiders, but love this one. What an adorable creepy crawler. Here we are. Let's class the place up. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. I'm reading incoming drones. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Legends are born here. The major leagues. We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But we are. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. So what's the gig, Dex? You meant to come out in one piece? <laughs> How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. 
We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Cut king, baby. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. Sounds simple enough. He's lit, assholes! Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, my boy. We're bulletproof. Get your ass moving now! What the fuck just happened in there? Can't stop digging night city. Fucking matrix. Happy now, Jackie? Yep! I fucking hide! Time to bail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. Dicks! What the fuck?